Chicago Cubs' Addison Russell had nearly five months to prepare for yesterday's meeting with the media, and it showed. For the first time since receiving a 40-game suspension on September 21 for domestic violence, Russell faced the media to discuss the actions that served as the basis for that suspension. Except, he really didn't discuss anything at all. Russell's answers came across as incredibly rehearsed, and consequently, insincere. Rather than truly address the details of the abuse of his ex-wife, Melissa Reedy, Russell stuck to his predetermined talking points. He routinely and inexplicably thanked reporters for their questions before answering, as if the questions were gifts, rather than the whole point of him being there. Instead of coming across as remorseful and sincere, he was robotic and rehearsed, often repeating certain catchphrases like, I'm not proud of the person I was, or, I am accountable for my past actions. Some may argue that Russell could not go into details as he could open himself up to a potential lawsuit. To those individuals I would say, there was a way that Russell could have been conciliatory and genuine without subjecting himself to further legal action, and he fell far short of the mark. But that's the risk when you put the responsibility of taking accountability on a PR firm rather than yourself. So now the question is, what's next, what is next not only for Addison Russell but for the Cubs? Let's be honest, the Cubs haven't exactly covered themselves in glory this offseason. Whether it was the release of racist and bigoted emails from Tom Ricketts or a questionable media deal with Sinclair Broadcast Group, the team has been under intense scrutiny this offseason. Related story read now greater than greater than and that doesn't even account for the heat they have taken from fans regarding baseball matters, like not even being in the mix for Bryce Harper or Manny Machado. But baseball, at least for the moment, has taken a backseat to life and the things that truly matter. It's unfortunate that Addison Russell didn't realize that fact more yesterday in his apology.